Trees. What? Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Mm. Taking a bite of this apple, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Trying to keep my energy up. Mm. Sorry, y'all. Aries, I hope everything is going very well for you. We're going to jump into your daily reading. Aries, I'm no longer putting bonuses up for you guys. I'm just going to do your daily, okay? Because I feel like it's not fair for Gemini and Scorpio if I'm putting up a bonus for you guys and you guys are not supporting your videos. Um, so if you support your videos, I would, con I would definitely throw out a bonus for you, okay? Depends on your videos, all right? So keep that like up, okay, Aries? Keep that like up, all right? We're just going to do the daily though, okay, on this channel. And then on my other channel, you guys, I also have your videos that comes out every, I think, Wednesday. It's a mini. So if you want to subscribe to that channel for that as well, you do have a video schedule every Wednesday on that um, element channel, okay? The element channel. I do try to stay consistent on there, but your girl been falling off, honestly. But I did put up some videos they're scheduled, so you are going to receive a video this week, okay? And I will definitely try to do it from now on. All right, so let's get into it, Aries. Ooh, you have messages as hiding, Aries. So, Aries, there's this energy that has been going through a lot. <sighs> going through a lot when it comes to healing, like, this person doesn't want to take the initiative, okay? Like, I'm seeing, like, this person could be dealing with drugs, sexual addiction, or drinking addiction. It could be a toxic family or friends as well. But they're stuck into this element, okay? On the back of the deck, the Ace of Cups is in reverse because of what's going on here. Like, you want to be with this person, but you have to take a step back, okay? I'm definitely seeing that in a hermit mode because... You know, you want to be with this person. You're kind of upset about this because you kind of like you wasted your time here. Um, and you're just like trying to focus on what you truly want and trying to be successful at the same time. Okay. But I'm feeling like, you know, there's a lot of depression and crying and humili humiliation with this. I'm feeling like someone is like, oh my God, when is things are going to change? Like somebody's waiting. Like it's a lot of depression here, a lot of negative thoughts, a lot of anxiety. Okay. This person is living it every day. All right. I'm definitely seeing Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus energy coming out here. Like there's this energy of independence. There's this energy of being, you know, financially stable. Um, and they want to move towards this 1111 because, you know, this 1111 is in turmoil. This conflict. This person wants to work this out, you know. You know, that's their main thing. They want to make sure that they're making the right decision if they're going to walk away or not. But I don't feel like this person wants to walk away from this. They want to work this out. But I do have this energy that's in a depression state, like it's dealing with a lot of mental in illness or not a, a lot of mental struggles. OK, so I'm seeing a separation here. All right. This person is from your past. OK, um, for some of you could be married to this person or in separation and you're just not seeing eye to eye right now with this person, honestly. And this person constantly thinks about you. They think about how they treated you in the five of pentacles, how they left everything on you and you have to pick up all the pieces. You have to do a lot of things to make, you know, things right. And they really, you know, appreciate your strength and how you took care of this or how you tied up this five of pentacles, how you got yourself out of debt. You know, they really appreciate um, your strength. So there's some clarity that's coming to you. This person is going to come to you and give you some clarity about what's happening, what's really going on here. Now, it's not going to change how you feel about this person because you feel like, damn, you know, if you were only honest from the beginning, this is what I'm hearing, you know, again, marriage here, um, you know, for some of you might be ending this relationship here, separation, this 10 of pentacles is very important to both of you. For some of you have a contract, maybe a child together, maybe some kind of business that you have, you know, started from scratch, some kind of baby, a, you know, that you, you, you built together. I'm definitely feeling like someone have learned from this. So they're ready to move forward forward okay with this death card 
you know, they have, they, they had to learn from a lot of things that happened here. And now they're taking all this experience and moving forward here, whether it is making, um, being a better person for their family, um, trying to deal with this anxiety here that's going on because this person definitely wants to converse it. I'm getting Aries, Leo, or Sag as well. So you could be dating your own element. All right. Or this could be you that's feeling this way, Aries, that you're in this, um, stage of depression. Okay. And you know, that is really causing a, a, a rift on your happiness, your abundance, your money. Okay. And there's money that's tied up on here as well with your family. And this is important. This is important to stay, keep steady so you guys can flow. Right. So, but it's really causing a rift on your happiness with your, with your, um, with your, your love for each other. Like if you want to stay together or if you want to leave each other. And angels, please give me just some in light, in, in, enlightenment of what's going on here. Thank you, angels. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on? Okay, so we have a year from now. All right, so things are going to shift and change. Things are going to come together. I feel like for some of you, look at you. The world is going to be in your hands. Whatever you decide, you're going to go to abundance, happiness, okay? So we have um, get more information before making a decision. You know, helpful people, like people are going to come towards you and try to help you through this. The angels are saying yes and wait at the same time. So I'm feeling like, you know, you're going to have to make a choice for yourself. Either one that you choose, you're going to be happy with. So don't worry about it. All right. There is going to be communication coming to you. Like I said, the clarity will probably shift everything. There's going to be a new form of way here. It's funny how these two swords are here. Like justice, you know, clarity, truth is coming in. So be patient with the universe. Trust in the process. That's what I'm hearing. I'm always hearing trust in the process, you guys. And a year from now will totally be different. It will be more fulfilled. So know that your feelings that you're feeling now is not going to linger into the next year, okay? You guys are going to figure something out. All right, so let's get some messages, please. Thank you. Let's get some messages. Poor Aries. All right, number 33 is on the back of the deck. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you need to live in the moment. I'm getting like you need to definitely, you know, cherish the people around you and try to help them out as much as you can. Um, I'm feeling like a lot of us right now are in this element of ourselves and try to really focus on our problems and try to really focus on what's going on. And, you know, we can only do so much. And the only thing that we can only do is protect our mental state and being a positive light, because whatever is happening around us, we cannot control. It's going to happen regardless. So we have to know what we, we can do after it happens, okay? We can't control of things or try to make things that are occurring don't happen, if that makes sense, okay? So I feel like right now, a lot of us are not living in the moment. And, you know, this card 33 is just reminding me of living in the moment, living in the now, you know, trying to be there for people that you haven't connected with in a long time, haven't seen, haven't talked to, and trying to just build a relationship back up again, okay? And I'm talking about people who are reaching out to you, not people who are not, okay? So, Keep that in mind. And then we have number 20, number three, number 19, how that resonates. And also we have number four, 41, okay? So I'm feeling like, you know, 
building an empire for yourself and, you know, making sure that this is something that is around you and making sure that this is fulfilled. Um, maybe you guys are moving in a new home and you can't believe where you are. You know, you, you don't have to not like, you don't have to try to hold on on things because this will, this is happening. This is happening because it needs to, it's necessary. Okay. I'm feeling like whatever is meant to fall apart will fall apart here on the tower. We have the tower here as well. Okay. I feel like you have to relax about this and, um, let the, the light shine, let things come into play, let the angels work. Um, you cannot rebuild um, something on your own, if that makes sense. You, are, you hear that say, let let go, let flow. Because if you're holding on on something and trying to control something, and this is what I'm getting in this reading, like um, someone here is trying to be controlling, okay? Trying to control everything. And you can't. You have to just let go, all right? Um, do it for yourself. Okay. Sundress here. Do it for yourself. Um, let go, you know, be at peace, travel, go to someone that you love, you know, embrace life, embrace yourself, what you wanted to do from a child. If you can, you know, do these things that people said you cannot do or cannot make money from. And this is something that you really enjoyed, you know, do this and do it because you love it, not because you want to make money from it. If that makes sense, because, you know, I feel like when I started my channel, I wasn't thinking about any kind of form of money. I was doing it because this is what I wanted to do. And I felt like I was being pulled every time. Like I would talk about Zodiac signs to my friends and talk about tarot or something like that. And they would be just looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, oh God, here we go again with all these Zodiac signs and who's compatible with who. And I was always interested in this stuff. And, you know, it was just like, you have those people in your life that you're trying to be open up with about your deepest thoughts and they kind of look at you like you're crazy and you just back up and you bury all of what you are passionate about because you don't want people to look at you like you're, you know, you do voodoo or you, you think of dark magic because when, let's keep honest, anytime they think of tarot or they think of, um, you know, spells and stuff, they think of dark magic, which is, you know, and, and stuff like that. It's not in a positive light. So, but I also believe there is the light and there is darkness and I am on the light and I tell, tell you guys that all the time. So, you know, it's just like, I'm getting this vibe. Like someone is just, they're not doing their most potential. Okay. I'm sorry to come off of the message, but I'm, I'm trying to stay on the message with showing you or sharing my personal experiences. So stay on the path of what you truly love. We understand that you have to make a nine to five here, but you know, make sure that what you truly love is a hobby so it can become something that truly brings you fulfillment. Okay in the long run and cherish those people around you, you know, hang out. We're coming back to hanging out with people that are closer to you, people that you haven't been close with in a while. 19, 33, live in the moment, you know, cherish the love and the surroundings around you, you know, live in the moment, cherish your energy, you know, letting go of things that you can't control, you know, believe in when you, when you, um, receive something from the universe and you can't believe that this happened. I know when I got my house and I was like, Oh my God, this is happening to me. Oh my God. It was an exciting moment because it was a hard work. You know, it was, very, it was a lot of hard work and I felt like I was not going to end up here. And I was like, oh my God, am I going to rent for the rest of my life? So I'm not going to be in this apartment for the rest of my life. This is what I was thinking. Like, you know, I wanted a bigger space, didn't know if I could afford it. And things were just happening for me. I got promoted on my job like twice in a year. Like I was just like, what? What is going on here? Like the universe, when it's time, it is time, you guys. And the universe is telling you, it is time. Do you hear what I'm preaching? I'm feeling your energy. <sighs> so protect your energy from all darkness, of course, all negative thoughts. Because, you know, I do feel like you are dealing with a lot of mental 
um, struggles, okay? So make sure to protect that energy. Make sure to try to delete those people from your life. Whatever, whatever is causing that trigger, make sure to delete that, all right? Because I'm seeing whatever you're feeling and whatever you're going through, it's going to fall over in your love life, okay? You want to have abundance. You want to be happy. You want to have less conflict in your home with your person. But there's a lot of things that's happening here that is it's bigger than this connection. You know, it's a lot of healing that needs to be addressed within yourself. All right. Love you. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.